So what is distance to default? First, we need to understand what default actually is. Default refers to an event at which a company declares its inability to pay its debt, which often leads to insolvency. Distance to default, or the D2D, provides a different perspective on the concept of default. D2D, simply put, is an approach that aims to help distinguish those businesses that may be under threat of default before they go insolvent. The D2D model typically ranges from zero to five, as seen here, where zero represents companies at extreme risk of solvency, and five indicates companies resembling strong financial strength. Businesses are not limited to D2D ratings five or under, and in many cases, business financial structures may easily exceed a D2D of five. Here you can see the D2D average per industry for the ASX. As seen, all industries mentioned are sitting within that zero to five range. D2D takes into account key factors, such as the value of the firm's assets, V, face value of debt, F, expected return on the firm's asset, mu, standard deviation of asset returns, sigma, and time to maturity of the firm's debt, T. Using a simple example with value of the firm's assets equaling 100, face value of the debt equaling 25, expected return on the firm's asset equaling 10% or 0.1, standard deviation of asset returns equaling 30% or 0.3, and time to maturity of the firm's debt equaling 1, we can see that this firm provides an indication of strong financial wealth with a D2D of 4.8. It is common for analysts to convert the D2D score into a distribution to determine a probability of default. In this scenario, we're presented with a probability of default being 7.93 by 10 to the minus 7, virtually zero. However, when we increase our firm's face value of debt, F, to 100, we see that our firm is now presenting evidence of extreme risk of solvency with a D2D of 0.18 and a probability of 43%. Which makes sense because in the hypothetical situation that we must pay off all our debt, we must use all of our assets, leaving us nothing after in reserves, which is extremely risky and will therefore increase our chance of default. Using the normal distribution for probability of default is a base method. Many companies use hybrid distributions to account for the fat tail on the default side. The relationships of the D2D inputs can be seen here, with each input as the x-axis and the D2D as the y-axis. Further details in the inputs for our D2D model and further statistics regarding D2D measurements can be seen on the website in supporting videos or on the D2D model page.